first things first, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to connect to my phone from my computer through the ADB tool. Um, I'm running an aftermarket ROM. I have Pac-Man Nightly. It's a KitKat version of Pac-Man, which is it's pretty decent, by the way. Pac-Man's definitely my favorite. Um, so let's, uh, let's use ADB, and we're going to connect. Connect to... 192.168.1.5 and uh, okay I'm already connected ADB let's create a shell this just links my computer's terminal up to my phone I can control my phone from here uh, we want root permissions and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull my database but there's a little trick to it since I'm using my computer to access my phone I cannot actually pull the file from the phone. I have to actually copy the database, the text message database, from the root, like one of the root dyers to the external SD card, and then I can pull it from my computer from there. So what we're going to do is we're going to CP, we're going to access the uh, the database, the text message database. That is in com android, no, com android, dot android, uh, providers, and telephony um, databases and MMS SMS DB we're gonna copy that over to the external SD card and we're gonna name it MMS or is it no, just SMS SMS new we'll do that dot DB Okay, now we can pull it. All right, um, where am I now? Okay, I'm gonna pull it with. We're gonna use the ADB command again, the ADB tool, Android debugging bridge. Uh, we're going to use the pull command, and we're gonna pass it the path of that database. External SD SMS new.db and we're going to push it into home anthony documents um, you know what, I guess that's cool right there we're going to call it uh, you know I'll just leave the name the same let it pull okay let's view it we're going to use the SQL light tool or the SQ light tool um, you know what, let's open up a different tab. Uh, we're going to CD out of here, and we're going to need to go into... There's a document I pulled it into. Okay, that's what I needed. SQLite 3 is the tool that we're going to need. We're going to try to... We're going to not, not try, but we're going to pull the headers. We're going to pass it the uh, the database, and um, it's SMS, new DB, and we're going to pull some columns and tables, select everything from the SMS table, and let's see what we got. There we go. Let's, um, how am I going to run away? Is that on my text messages or is that a fucking it's gotta be? 892. Yes it is. Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 267. I'm gonna grep out my uncle's phone number. 267. And this is what we got. There is three messages. We're gonna delete those on my phone. Delete. Alright. We're going to redo that. Okay. Now let's re pull that file. Okay, done. And re push it is what I meant. Copy it. Um. We're going to copy the second one. 
and we're going to pull that over to my computer from my phone. Or from my computer. <laughs> from my phone to my computer. Okay, this is the new one. We don't want to parse that just yet. Um. Okay, we're gonna parse the second one. And as you can see, that there is no no more messages from my uncle. Um. There we go, that was it. What's your zip code is what he said. And he sent me a picture. It was 267. Um, let's see, what do we do from here? Okay. We're going to push this through the Python tool. The Python tool to... Um, it actually... The way the SQL databases work is that they don't actually delete the text messages they mark them to be written over but they store them in an unallocated space so they can be pulled up you just have to uh, know how to you know access that unallocated space inside of those databases this is what we're going to do we're going to use python we're going to we're going to um invoke the interpreter the python interpreter then call the sql parse py python program and then feed it a file that's what that file is right there we need to um give it the second one we're going to push that, not raw data, but we're going to use the TSV, TSV file. And the TSV file, what that is, is uh, it's just all readable characters. It's going to strip out all the unreadable characters, uh, like hexadecimal, you know, the tabs, the spaces, and all that good stuff. And we're going to um, push that, like I said, into a TSV file. Um, let's try that to TSV. Now let's see. Let's change the uh, the bit permissions. Um, chmod a. Let's. We don't need to write, so we'll read and execute. And we're going to sms. Is it new? New to. Dot tsv. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to concatenate, which is just to display the file to the screen. And. Um, We're going to grep 267, my uncle's number. There you go. What's the zip code? Hope you followed. That's it. That is how you pull text, deleted text messages from an Android phone. Uh, which one was it? 